Before bedtime, Peppa and George have their bath. Peppa likes splashing. George likes splashing. Peppa and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pyjamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Peppa and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George like stories. <laughs> when Peppa goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey Book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey Book. Pepper and George like the Red Monkey Book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. And this red monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, red monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> <sighs> Now Peppa and George are asleep, <sighs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> Now it's your turn. No. George does not want it to be his turn. Maybe you can hold Mr Dinosaur while the dentist looks at your teeth. <laughs> Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> Very pleased to meet you, Mr Dinosaur. It's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. <laughs> hold tight. You're doing very well, George. Now, can you show me your teeth? George does not want to show the dentist his teeth. George, open wide like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah, there they are. All done. You have very strong, clean teeth, George. Are they as lovely as mine, Dr Elephant? Ah! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> George is very proud to have clean teeth. George, don't forget the pink drink. <laughs> oh, but wait! What's this? What's wrong, Dr Elephant? George has clean teeth, but this young dinosaur's teeth are very dirty. Oh, no. Dr Elephant is very cross with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Not at all, Pepper. It's my job to make teeth clean. The water jet, please, Miss Rabbit. The dentist uses water to clean Mr Dinosaur's teeth. The polisher, please, Miss Rabbit. This will be a bit noisy. Dr Elephant polishes Mr Dinosaur's teeth. Pink, pink. That's right, George. Mr Dinosaur needs some special pink drink. <laughs> Gosh, what shiny teeth you have, Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> Too scary. George loves Mr Dinosaur, especially now he has nice clean teeth. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> this 
Tooth Fairy is very late. Huh. The Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? What is that noise? Is it the Tooth Fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. I'm not going to sleep. The Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Pepper is asleep. Hello, Pepper. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Pepper. Good night. Pepper, George, wake up. It's morning. <gasps> what? I wasn't asleep. Did the Tooth Fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Pepper. The Tooth Fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <laughs> Next time, I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> but Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm, its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. A vet is a doctor for animals. Hello, Dr. Hamster speaking. Upside down tartars, you say? I'll be right there. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Now, where's the patient? Here. He fell out of the tree. Tiddles, you little pickle. What have I said about climbing trees? Will he be OK? Yes. Let's just flip you over. There. Good as new. Hooray! That was an interesting technique you used there. Standard procedure, really. It is Dr Elephant, the dentist. Hello, everyone. I heard there was an emergency. Are everyone's teeth OK? Yes, yes thank, thank you. you. A dentist is a doctor who looks after teeth. I'll be on my way, then. <laughs> oh, dear. Dr Elephant's car won't start. Do any of you doctors know how to fix a car? Um, no. no. I know who to call. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Trouble with a car? I'll be right there. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Try the engine. Hmm. Try it again. There. Good as new. Hooray! <laughs> Granddad Dog is a car. Doctor. <laughs> there are doctors for everything, even cars. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolls through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> Don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. 
We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Oh. Have a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> 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 <laughs>